So Huanglong National Park was incredible. I had been wanting to go here for so long. It had been on my China bucket list for years since we'd been living in China and we hadn't made it there. So when we were going on this trip, I made sure that Justin made a route that <laughs> went by this park so that we could go see it. And it was totally 100% worth it. Like the place was just so cool and unique and I just loved it. No. Today we are doing something super exciting. We are at Huanglong National Park and we're going to explore these awesome colorful pools. And Kara's been bugging me about this for 2,000 freaking kilometers. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to go here for like years and we're finally here. Let's go. We're so high up here, they've even got an oxygen bar. <laughs> the whole place was basically just one big waterfall that they had built like this, these wooden steps and platforms over. Yeah, it was just like a mountain valley. Um, or a mountain pass that yeah. the water was running down. The water was clear, it was crystal blue, running down, running limestone down the sides of the mountain, so you had these nice pools being created. What a cool place. What'd you think? It is a very cool place. Yeah. I, yeah, I like the water. It was nice and blue and pretty. It's probably, I mean, for sure it's the most like pristine national park we've ever been to in China. Yeah. I mean, not one, I didn't see one speck of trash. I didn't see one person smoking. Like, yeah, it's it was just a nice such place. a pristine, we're, beautiful place. We're remote enough that there's not so many people here. Yeah.
the whole thing was basically a waterfall but then you would get to these pockets of like these crystal clear gorgeous blue like pools that were formed and so I guess I think there were like four or five different pockets of pools and the most spectacular ones were at the very top and they were all like multicolored and just it was amazing that a place like this actually exists in nature like our friend Steve Steve and Scene Scene came with us and Steve was pretty sure in the beginning, like before we actually went into the park, that all the photos and stuff were like photoshopped. Like he's like, that water can't be that blue. Like, come on, this is China. And then we went there and he was like, wow, okay, this is real. Like, that's incredible. Wow, I can't believe that guy was carrying up like five giant boxes of water up the mountain. Crazy, he is a beast.